Hi, my name is Wei Gohi. I'm a manager of uh, Property Systems Engineering and Solutions Development. I'm right now at the EMC uh, World as the uh, demo booth. What I'm trying to show you is a, uh, some of the technology demos as, far, as well as the solutions that we develop and we are demoing here. So uh, what, you, what you're seeing here is a, what we call data center in a, in a box. So basically it's a uh, rack. As you can see, we have a bunch of servers inside this rack. And then also, uh, obviously, we have a bunch of uh, iOmega network storage. They are all rack mount storage. We are using this storage to provide uh, NFS or iSCSI storage uh, to the uh, virtualized platforms. So let's take a look at uh, the first platform we are showing here, which is VMware. And uh, what we have here is VMware ESX and a cluster environment. Uh, what we can see is uh, we have three servers, uh, ESX servers. We build in a cluster and then uh, we deploy a, uh, a bunch of uh, virtual machines to run on those ESX servers. And within those virtual machines, we can run some certain business applications. For example, one is uh, Microsoft Exchange 2010. That's a solution that we developed recently, uh, which um, basically use the iSCSI storage from iOmega iX12 uh, to, uh, in that solution, uh, we can support up to 250 uh, users with a very high, heavy I.O. profile. And that's completely run on the virtualized platform. Another example is uh, VMware View. That's another uh, high-end, I guess, uh, VM virtualized application, uh, which, which is which provides the virtualized desktop infrastru infrastructure. So as a small business, you may have up to you know, uh, 100 or 200 employees. Obviously, you want every employee to have a virtual desktop. Uh, that's one, uh, I guess, one trend that's going on in the IT industry, with people are starting to use virtualized desktops rather than hardware, you know, uh, desktops or PCs. Uh, the benefits of that uh, can be, you know, one, uh, very easy to deploy and um, maintain. Secondly, you can control the security and the Microsoft, you know, software updates and things like that. So the thing that we did is basically we have, you know, uh, some uh, SSDs in the box, which we can install the gold image of the virtual machines and then uh, we deploy the uh, link to clones of those images on the SATA drives. So it's sort of like a tiered uh, storage solution. And then with that infrastructure and the architecture that we, can, that we are used, uh, we can support up to you know, 100 uh, virtual machines. And we can do uh, in our testing uh, during a boot storm, which is basically 100 virtual machines put up at the same time. Uh, all those boot processes are finished within five minutes. So that's very good performance. And uh, if you think about the cost associated with the platform, it's very cost effective uh, for small business. So what we have here is a Microsoft Hyper-V cluster, uh, which is basically built upon the Windows 2008 clustering technology. And as you can see, we have a couple of no nodes, which are also uh, you know, uh, servers that we use in this rack. And also we deployed uh, a few virtual machines and distributed them to those Hyper-V servers. The concept is uh, pretty much the same as VMware ESX. Uh, you can you take advantage of all the advanced features like Microsoft Live Migration and things like that to uh, provide high availability and uh, you know, uh, some other business applications as well. Currently, we do not have a Citrix Zen server deployed in this rack. However, we have done uh, very similar testing, qualification and validation testing to make sure that our products work with Citrix Zen server as well. As a matter of fact, our products is, are certified for both VMware ESX, Microsoft Hyper-V and the Citrix Zen server. Uh, depending on the platform, uh, you can use either NFS and iSCSI. So we do not have a Zen server cluster here in this rack. However, if a customer chooses, we can certainly do that. And it's a, uh, also a validated solution. So now back to the data center in a box concept. So with the virtualization, obviously, you can have a bunch of servers and the virtual machines to, uh, to run your business applications. However, one very important thing, I guess, is 
problem is the most import, important uh, challenge in business is uh, data availability. Uh, uh, in, in other words, uh, business continuity. So it, it's really about your data and uh, we have to uh, back up your data. And that's some of the things that we are trying to accomplish here in this demo as well. So uh, as, as to uh, back up, there, obviously there are some uh, options you can do. With virtualization, for, for example, VMware, you can certainly use VMware Consolidated Backup to, uh, to uh, back up the images of those virtual machines. And also you can do some very traditional backup, which is basically use a uh, backup software such as EMC Networker to run in those virtual servers of virtual machines to back up your user data or application database data. The third thing we are trying to show here is uh, we have integrated the Avama agent in our network storage. So basically that allows you to uh, do source-based deduplication as I will make a storage device before the data is transferred over the wire to your Avama data server. So that's an application that, uh, that's an integration that we uh, had on the IX12 platform right now. And uh, that's another alternative, I, I think, uh, uh, for the uh, storage based um, solution for backup. The last thing I want to show here is to show you the integration that we have with EMC. As part of the EMC family, we are able to take, uh, take advantage of uh, some other you know, great EMC uh, technologies. So one of them, uh, as you know, is uh, EMC Unisphere. That's the uh, management software that's used to manage all the other EMC products, such as VNX, uh, Clarion. So what we are trying to do now is a here, this is a demo. Uh, it's a technology demo uh, only, by the way, so it's not available in the product, product yet. But we are trying to integrate IOMega products into this central management framework so that EMC customers can use the same software to manage all the EMC products that they have. So let's take a look at the uh, demo here. So as you can see, this is the management software, Unisphere. Uh, I have a VNX plugin here, uh, which can manage the EMC VNX product line. And also I have a IOMega product plugin right here. So as you can see, this, this is all the IOMega devices currently in the rack. And uh, you can highlight any of those devices and uh, uh, click this launch device manager to uh, bring up the management interface so that you can manage the uh, IOMega device from this central software here. So with this, I think uh, customers will be very happy because now they don't have to switch between different software you know, applications in order to manage all the EMC products that they have in the shop. Again, this is a technology demo only at this point. Uh, we should expect this to be integrated into IOMega uh, products and EMC products uh, in the future. Thank you, I think that's all I have.